I've been asked to give a short testimony about how I became a Christian. I became a Christian at 18 through a friend I met at college. Up to that time I'd grown up in a non-Christian family, although myself and my brother and sister went to Sunday school. I have a twin sister and until six, approximately six weeks before I was born, no one knew I existed, although according to scripture God knew about me before I was formed. So they couldn't hear my guy was hidden behind my sister, so they couldn't hear my heartbeat. Uh, I'd grown up always believing that I was the youngest in the family, and it wasn't until very late on in life and shortly before my mum passed away that I learnt that I was actually 20 minutes older than my sister. During my childhood I was always told that I was stupid, I'd never amount to much, um, I couldn't do basic maths like adding up or subtracting, uh, and this was how my life was. I'd always been told that I would never amount to much. I didn't go out much, I stayed at home most of the time, reluctant to get involved in anything, go anywhere, do anything like boys that join the scouts or other clubs or anything like that. My parents were loving but in their own way, but hugs and cuddles I don't remember much, although my brother says that I spent a lot of time on my mum's lap because if I wasn't there I cried. I left school at 17 and uh, went to, to work as an apprentice motor mechanic and part of which entailed going to Southgate Technical College on day release and at college I met a guy called Alan. He and another guy called Peter and I formed a, a close friendship and we ended up going out to lunch together and uh, back to each other's homes for dinner in the evening as we were on a, a 9am to 9pm day release. Alan asked me several times to go to their youth club at the local church, his local church, and I refused several times, but he kept pers being persistent, and eventually I gave in and decided to go down one night, one Friday night. They also had a, a motorbike club there, and though I wasn't into bikes, uh, this was part of the attraction. Later on also part of the attraction was a certain young lady that was part of that club who I eventually ended up marrying. At the <coughs> I got to know the rest of the group and uh, eventually, again through persistence in Alan's part, ended up going to church, uh, the Baptist church that he was part of. And after several times and several months of being there, <clears throat> I realised that there was something different about these people. Uh, what it was I couldn't put my finger on, but there was a difference about them. They enjoyed life, they enjoyed being together, they enjoyed what they were doing. My family thought this was just a phase I thought that I was going through and just dismissed it as, as that and I'll get over it. Um, but it took several months and uh, of going to church and to YPF meetings before I eventually decided to give my life to Jesus. Has it been rosy since then? No. There's been difficult times, there's been great times. There's been times I've wanted to give it all up and there's been times when it's been absolutely fabulous. Uh, and, but Jesus has always been there encouraging me to, to carry on. I remember reading a scripture one day saying that it was uh, I'd got this far in, in the, the Christian walk as it were and it was actually too far to walk back but Jesus has always been there encouraging me to move further on. My life changed and God has led me into, led me into all sorts of places, jobs and situations that previously I would never have even considered or thought that I would have been able to do. And this is all because one guy decided to talk to me about Jesus.